Good morning everyone. I have not taken you along with me for a day in my life in a while so I really wanted to do that today. Today little Mr. William woke up and he is sick and the other kids have been sick for like the past six or seven months but really bad for the past like four weeks. It's been non-stop. We were sick since September but we were sick for like two weeks on um, being sick and then at like one week off if it was really good it'd be like two weeks i had one three week interval since september but the last four weeks we've been sick back to back so we had like one day off which was friday last friday today is monday and saturday they woke up all sick again with fevers and everything so yeah this is gonna be a day in my life and i'm very very happy that you are here yeah i feel so bad that my little baby's sick i put this soothing ointment on him it's a chest rub to hopefully release some of that mucus and help him to breathe a little better no this is like literally beer <laughs> Over. No, can you press that button? Press it. Thank you. The boys have woken up, so I need to go get them, but I just wanted to share with you like a little bit of how my weekend went. My church asked me to join the worship group. And that is so exciting for me because I have always wanted to sing there. That has always been a little desire of mine, like for the longest time. I mean, ever since I was a little girl and that they asked me to sing is just an answer prayer. The week after they asked me and I said, yes, God willing, I got really sick and I got laryngitis, lost my voice for a few months. And now it's finally returning, thank God. And I got to see his hand in that and how he's in control of the paths of our lives, even though this is something that I'm like, well, God, I can sing and glorify you. I can do this for you. But what he showed me in that moment was I can glorify him more because it is hard and I'm still relying on him and trusting in him through the process. And thank God my voice finally got better and we got to practice once. And then the next week where we had our practice, the kids got sick again and um i got sick during that time too so sunday comes kids are sick again but i'm not so i was like okay let's let's try this let's do this it was a day filled with firsts a lot of first things for me a lot of new things for me singing at church was one of them and then after that to help lead a youth girls group and i'm very excited about both of these things but whenever you enter into a new chapter in your life it's always scary there's always some sort of doubt and feelings that you have to deal with and come to god in prayer about so that was yesterday for me it was very like god i'm just relying on your power because i i am a sinner with my own strength i have nothing to say you please give me the wisdom you please give me the love and compassion also i have a language barrier so i'm i was just praying about a lot of different things for god to help me with even even in the sense of learning to read and talk in russian you're done hold on he needs a snack i'm back where was i yeah so yesterday was like one of those days where it was just heavily relied on the lord and i know that it should be like that every single day but the day goes through and thank god he did help me he helped me to sing in russian he blessed the girls group and it was great as i was driving home i thought i saw something greenish in the sky and i'm like is that is that it i've always had a desire to see the northern lights always i just i love that i love seeing pictures of it and this is not something that we get in our area like at all like i've lived here my entire life and i have not seen them so i pull up to my house i look in the distance it's there i was like no 
way i was tearing up i'm like hold on like i can't believe my eyes so i put the stuff like that i needed to inside my house and like i left again and it was 10 30 at night like i do not do this i don't like leave by myself somewhere anyway but the kids and alex were already sleeping because he stayed at home with them because they were sick so i leave to a place it's just like a beautiful place that has like fields all around so i can see the sky really well over there and it's further away from lights as well so i can like just see the sky i come there and there were the northern lights god showed me the northern lights and it was such a special moment because this is something that i've never really come to him in prayer about but it's just a desire that i had and him being my father my good father has shown me such a beautiful thing that he does and it was honestly me like silence and the crisp air and and the crispy snow beneath my feet black sky with dancing lights on it there are no words to describe it but it was so beautiful and i'm i'm very thankful that i got just just spend some like one-on-one -on -one time with him and just to like be awestruck by his majesty Can I hear that? Uh, it's a puppy! Yeah, it's a puppy. Oh, oh, so. Okay, good job. If you lost your socks and your bottles, they're probably under the crib. William, can you go get your bottle? I'll move this and you go get the bottle, okay? Иди, возьми носочки и бутылку. Спасибо. Спасибо и бутылку. А, потому что он очень такой громкий. Thank you, baby! put William to bed. He is teething right now and his back molars are coming in and he's just so miserable and sad. But he's off to bed now so I'm gonna try to tackle this load of laundry. I just dropped Alex off at preschool, but the kids to bed also. I think I have an hour without the youngest and I need to like cook and clean. This place needs a little bit of love. 
a little bit of love. It's a little bit of, you know, everything going on over here. It's not terrible. It just needs a little bit of my time. Because we've been sick so often, I'm gonna try another tea. I've tried a lot, but this is a Get Wellness. It's a herb tea for immunity. So I hope that this has some good ingredients in it to boost our immunity. A random little tip that I like to do for myself. If you have a cup that you like, you are more prone to drink out of it and stay hydrated. I love drinking out of mason jars for some reason. So this is my, this is my to-go cup. And I like that it's big and I don't have to refill it often. <laughs> I am making a lazy version of twice baked potatoes. I usually make them, but it takes me literally three hours. I don't know if it's just like the baking time because you have to bake it for an hour and then you have to bake it for another long time and then all the in-betweens and scraping it out of the skins, but it is like one of Alex's favorite meals. So I am making a lazy version. I am boiling the potatoes and I'm gonna do a casserole, but I'm gonna do it not the traditional way. I'm also gonna add like some extra vegetables inside the mashed potato puree to get more vegetable intake. I always keep a grocery bag right next to my cutting board and I put all the scraps in there. It really helps with the cleanup afterwards. I just throw away the bag and we're good. I'm gonna throw in a shot in there just because I had one. I don't wanna waste it. to saran wrap this and put it in the fridge and bake it closer to dinner time. But it's done and it's ready and William woke up. So he'll be joining me for the rest of the cleaning. <laughs> hey. William, you can't close it. Can I put it in here first? And you'll close it. You can close it, buddy. No, not take that out. Little Jonathan loves to play in the sink. He loves to play with the water. He'll just like put a bunch of things there and they'll flow and he'll just play with the water in the downstairs bathroom. So that's why there's always a lot of stuff in there. But we got that taken care of. I have like less than 20 minutes until I have to go get Alex. We're gonna try to speak clean. Da -da. Hi buddy. I was going to clean, Mama. but more important, Mama. pressing things came up. Bye. Yeah, there's nothing there because I cleaned it. Um, I really like to have like these little quilts on the floor here because I change my kids on the floor because they like to roll around and stuff. They're too big for the changing table. But just in case there's an accident, he 
don't have to mess up your carpet and it's a very easy cleanup. And it looks cute. So I just picked up Alex from school and we're gonna go on a little ride. I brought the tea that I have not finished from the earlier half of the day. And we might go to a park. It's, it's snowed in everywhere. We just went to the park in February. Alex, did you like it? Yes. It was a good five minutes. It was a good five minutes. Winters are hard, especially with kids. You're trying to find something for them to do and entertain them. A few things that we've been doing this winter is we got a YMCA membership. So if you don't know what that is, it's like a gym. And it has like a pool inside and everything. And the kids have been absolutely loving that. We've been visiting relatives once again. We've been sick most of the time, 95% of the time. But in the times when we're not, we like to visit relatives, visit grandmas, and we also like to go to the libraries. Yeah. Cereal? You just had a peanut butter jelly sandwich. The libraries are really interesting because you can read a ton of books, but also there are, also there are the parks and libraries. So that's really fun for the kids i'm really happy that they started to do that and it's just a place that you can go to you just need cereal right now Mama. also there's malls so some malls have playgrounds and that's also a great thing to do in the winter time and like just get outside and play in the snow and get cold that's also great but another thing just as simple as getting into the car buckling them up grabbing yourself some tea or coffee or whatever and just going for a drive. We have found horses nearby, so we go and visit the horses. It gives mama a little bit of a break. A little bit. My kids don't like potatoes, like at all. So I'm gonna make them some rice real fast because I know that they're not going to eat it. Please tell me, I'm not the only one. Do your cars ever look like this? Cause this is like the average of how it looks like. I will take care of the house, but the car I use and abuse. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> da, 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 da. I wanna take this chance right now because I gave the boys a little snack. So hopefully I'm gonna just like do this really fast and just clean up the stuff at least off the floor. I grabbed two bags, one for the stuff that needs to go inside the house and the other one for garbage. a little craft with the kids it's like a little book i just stapled the edges and put some papers folded some papers together and they wanted to do a biography about their lives so i started this is alex he's a baby inside my tummy here's when we lived with my in-laws that's how far we got but still he loves it and he like carries it around he's like oh alex this is alex's book and jonathan has one too the boys did a little craft and they wanted to send it off to the grandmas. They have five grandmas. And so we have five packages, like little um, crafts that we did for them. 
is so funny because we even got little pictures. I don't think it's something that I would put on my fridge, but I think that the grandmas will enjoy it. And we're gonna send it like through the actual mail system. So they're super excited that the mailman's gonna take it to their grandmas. Alex went to go bathe the kids. We had dinner. I started to clean up. So I'm going to put the house to bed and put my kids to bed to clean everything up so that we can have a fresh start tomorrow morning and to do it all over again. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming with me. I enjoyed your company for this day. May God bless you guys and everything that you do and all of your hard work. Have a good night. Thank you.